Greetings, Melvin family. What a joy it is to join you on this lesson for this week. Last week I was here with Brother Ford and this week I'm here with Elder Nixon. Greetings, my brother. And how are you? Greetings, Melusi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. What a pleasure it is to yeah. be with you today. Yes. Uh, just want to greet the viewers as well and all the listeners out there. Fantastic. Yes. How has been life, man? Yes. God is good. Amen. We've come to the end of the year again. And we are into the new year. We're, we're already into the new year. We're already this, 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 this new quarter for 2023. It's almost, it's almost halfway. Mm. Yes. As yeah. we begin this lesson for this week, Brother Nixon, laying up treasure in heaven. Mm. What a powerful title. And I think it's going to give us powerful reference. Let's maybe bow our heads as we pray to ask the Lord's blessing to be with us. Father in heaven, I thank you for this privilege and the honor to discuss your holy, divine and eternal word. Father, we invite you to be with us and be with our listeners and be with those who are watching online. May your spirit whisper to us and lead us and guide us because you have instructed us to lay up our treasures, not here on earth, but in heaven. Help us to understand what that means for our practical lives. For we pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So the key text for this week, uh, Brother Nixon says from Mark chapter 8, verse 36. I'm going to read it here. Mm. I'll ask you to maybe share with us your thoughts on what came into your mind when you heard, when you heard these, these words. Mark chapter 6 Verse 36 and 37 has this to say. Again, it's Jesus teaching his disciples about taking up their cross and following him. Mm. That's the context. And he says in verse 36, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Mm. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Jesus is asking questions. Mm. Your thoughts on these questions and what, what is Jesus saying in this week's lesson? Um, I think Jesus is uh, trying to make it very clear mm -hmm. that uh, at the end of the day, what is of paramount importance is life. Mm. Because the verse is saying, what will it profit you mm. to gain the whole world yeah. but lose your soul? Mm. What is the whole world to you without life mm. maybe you can speak to a millionaire and say what are the, what are your millions to you when you're on a life supporting system mm. that, that's mm. what jesus is saying so jesus is saying know what matters in this life mm. life is more important than anything else this is why he says we must invest in eternal things mm. because eternal things come with eternal life all right anything else is secondary. Life mm. is what God wants us to have. Yeah. Mm. And then no wonder the discussion, if you look a little bit further and we read the verses contextually, like I mentioned, take up your cross and follow me. Yes. So so Jesus is saying, and this is the one of the very few verses where Jesus expected us to do something. Mm. In many cases, he says, come, come unto me and I'll give you rest. Yeah. Okay. Follow me. Mm. And I would show, I would make you fishers of men, but on this one he mm. says, "Take your cross." Yes, and follow so, me. So I understood the fact that, and I think to our listeners and our viewers out there, you sh we shall notice that when God called people, mm. or when God calls a person to follow, mm. there is a burden that that person carries, and yeah. that burden often is expressed in their relationship with material things. Exactly. So we're going to few case studies we're going to go through. But, but here is what Jesus says on verse 35. He says, For whoso, whoever desires to save his life yeah. will lose it. Exactly. But whosoever loses his life for my sake exactly. and the gospel's sake mm. will save it. Yeah. So Jesus puts a clarification on what we should put our lives to. Mm. He's very clear. It is putting our riches, our life, and everything online for Jesus. The discussion around serving God and contributing to his kingdom is not a by the way no. or a side agenda. Mm -mm. It is everything. Exactly. And so the lesson then tells us about Noah finding Maybe, maybe even before we go there, there's a verse that yeah. I think is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse yes. 19 and 20. Mm. 
it says here, do not lay up for yourself treasures, treasures on earth, earth. Mm, where moth, moth and rust destroy mm. and where thieves break in and steal. Mm -hmm. But lay up for yourselves treasures, treasures in heaven, in heaven yeah. where neither moth mm. nor rust destroys mm. and where thieves do not break in and yeah. steal. Mm. Uh, th th this is an investment strategy from Jesus himself. Yeah. And he's saying, if you lay up your treasures in heaven, mm. if you allow God to spend you for his kingdom, yeah. to spend you for the gospel, God is saying, you will not go away empty-handed. Mm. In fact, the gain that you get out of it yeah. is the greatest ever gain that you can get. Mm. And God will protect even that which we have. That's yeah. why the Bible is saying, if you lay your treasures in heaven, mm. there is no moth that comes to destroy. Yeah. There is no rust that comes to destroy. Mm. Uh, viewers and listeners, what God is saying is that um, there is no one who walk away poor because they've spent mm. for Jesus. Yes. They've spent for the cause of the gospel. Mm. There is no one who walk away poor for saving God. Right. There is no one who walk away poor for saving fellow men mm. in the name of God. No one who walk away poor. In fact, yeah. the more you invest in mm. the things of God, the mm. more God blesses you. Mm. Yes. And, and there's some people may, let's just clarify this, Melus. Some people may think, well, when we talk about God blessing, we're only talking about money. Money, no, yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. God can bless in so many other ways. It's actually, it's actually God's blessings, actually, in my understanding, it cannot be bought by money. No, they cannot. There's you no money that can equate. put a price exactly. to it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's, let's look at a few case studies. Yes. Because our time is quite limited. The first one is Noah finding grace in the sight of God. Mm. One of the concepts I want our readers to always keep in mind as we discuss these characters is the radical shift that God brought in yes. the lives of these characters. Th that he called for his service. Exactly. Yeah. When they were seeking to expand the kingdom and to serve God and yeah. to carry special missions for God. Exactly. There were radical shifts that God brought about. Mm. And so Genesis chapter 6 uh, tells us about Noah. And it says uh, uh, on verse 1, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, and they were beautiful. And they went, uh, took wives for themselves, for all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with men forever. For he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120. And um, if I can just jump to verse uh, 7 and 8. So the Lord said, I will destroy men whom I have created from the face of the earth, both men and beast, creeping thing, birds of the air, for I am sorry that I made them. Mm. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Mm. Your thoughts around Noah's radical shifts that transformed not only his life, yes, but so, this universe. So what is important to note is that uh, the, the wickedness in the world had reached a boiling point, mm. if, I could, if I could put it that way. Yeah. The Bible is very clear that, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Mm. And that every imagination of the thoughts of yeah. his heart was mm, only wicked. evil. And, mm. and, and look at the word that is coming there. Mm. The adjective continually. that's coming continually. Yeah, non-stop. Non-stop. Yeah. And, and then out of that, Noah finds grace. Mm. But what God says here, yeah, I mm. want to destroy this generation. Mm. I, 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 want, I want to have nothing to do with it. I want to destroy it totally. Mm. But, but before God does that, yeah. he finds grace in who? In Noah. Mm. Now. He finds it, grace in God. Noah finds grace in God. In God, yes. Yeah, Noah finds grace in God. Mm. And uh, God then gives Noah an assignment that to me is not a very pleasant assignment. It's tough. It's tough. 120 years of not building your house, Melusi. Hmm. 120 years of not building your home, of yes. not building your estate, uh -huh. but of building what? Of building an ark. An ark. <laughs> Why? Because God had said, there shall be rain. Build an ark, a place of refuge. Hmm. And it takes 120 years. And, and look at, at, at it this way. At the end of the 120 years, how hmm. many people were saved? No, no. How many people came his, in, 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 into that ark? His own, his own family. Thank God. They, they, were, they were far more animals yeah. than they were what? They were people. people. <laughs> if, if, if you look at it, and if, you were, if it were you, when, you, you would have said, but God, why did you 
if even to waste and my no time. No one came. And no one came. Yeah. But, but what God is trying to say is that when He calls us, the task is huge. Yes. Number one. And the task will leave our original plans of our lives shifted. It, they bring a paradigm shift. Yeah. To our to, to, to because in, in 120 years, if Noah had a plan for his life, what else could he have done? You would have had well, grandchildren. God, exactly. You would have had many lands and buildings. God in is the saying, land. invest your life in me, invest your time in me, invest your resources in me. And know how to do that. Mm. And the Bible says, mm. He found what? He mm. found grace in mm. the in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. But but also, if if you look at it, uh, Noah was doing something that was against the grain of, of the belief of the day. Mm. Because he was telling people, it is going to rain, it is going to rain. People yeah. had never seen rain. Melus. Exactly. So he was talking about something that had never been done people had never seen. People had never seen rain. The which, philosophers, which the scientists, is, yeah. they said this thing cannot happen. Which is always a challenge for people that are called by God because they come and teach and talk about things that human beings Weird stuff. have not witnessed. Weird stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's, he's preaching, the professors are saying, what are you talking about? We know the seasons very well. We have yeah. never had any single drop from heaven. Our crops, the, the, the agronomists and the yes. agriculture are saying, no, our crops, they, they, they grow out grow. of mist. Yeah. They grow out of mist or dew. What is this rain that you're talking about? Not only this rain. What is this destruction that you're talking that about? That you're talking about. Because we know God. Exactly. He's a good God. Noah became a, somebody who was out of his mind. Yeah. Because what he was saying, even he himself, he had never experienced it. So, so it, yeah. and, and the, I like yeah. the lesson, boys. It says that even in the last days, mm. when you speak about the second coming of Jesus Christ, we shall be taken for as skeptics. Yes. We shall be taken as extremists. Yes. But Jesus has never come. Mm. The world is continuing. Roads are being built. Infrastructure is developing. Yes. Uh, the technology cities, is technology is moving levels. like nothing is going to happen. Yeah. Now, when you tell people that one there's day... There's a disruption. Th there's a disruption which is coming. Um, I come from the IT field. People talk about IT disruption. Yes. But let me tell you, viewers, there is a real disruption which is coming. Not this IT thing a, that we are seeing. A cataclysmic one. No. There, there's going to be real disruption. Mm. Real disruption. And uh, when we preach this word, people take us for skeptics, people take us for ex extremists. In fact, mm. Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be. So shall it be. Exactly. They were eating. They were eating. They were drinking. They were marrying. They were giving in marriage. And they were giving in marriage. Until, now hear this yeah. one. <laughs> until the until. day when Noah went yeah. into the into ark, the ark. Yeah. Jesus even says, until the yeah. door was shut. Was shut. So there was the first coming in, the first until. Exactly. And the second until. Exactly. And no one ever paid attention. But mind you, Louis, uh, uh, Melus, sorry. Mm -hmm. when, when oh, I, the, I like that. You can call me that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, mind you, when, when the door was not shut at the moment Noah went into the house. Yes, it remained open. That's a period of what? Well, it's it's a period of what? Probation. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a probationary period. It's a period of grace. God is appealing. Please come into the ark. I can imagine how Noah felt sitting inside for days. Yeah. Seven days. He, he probably doubted God. With animals inside. Exactly. Ooh, yeah. Boo, boo, boo. And God mm. then says, God shut him yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. So Noah's life changed forever. He had a life that was disrupted because God called him to do something yeah. special. But the Bible also t talks to us about Abraham. Yeah. The father of the faithful. Yes, exactly. When we read the book Genesis chapter 12, let me just read that quickly. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, verse one to, to three. 3. And I'll invite you to share with us your thoughts on that. Genesis chapter 12. It says here on verse 1, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, mm. from your family, yeah. and from your father's house to a land that I'll show you. Yeah. I will make you a great nation. I'll bless you and I'll make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Mm. Verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all families of the earth shall be blessed. What did it cost Abraham to be a father of all nations and for all of us to be blessed in him? Uh, Abraham was born in A, in the land of A. Mm. Um, but God is calling him mm. to live his father's in, house. His father's house. His to family. Live his family. To his live people. his community. Yeah. You see, a place where he had been born, a, a place his where roots. He had, his roots were. Yes. Thanks for, for bringing that up. Yeah. A, a place where his roots mm. are. Mm. And God says to him, leave this place. And, and this is something that 
sounds awkward to me. Yeah. God does not give Abraham an address where he was supposed to go. Eish. He just says what? A place Leave. that I will show you. A place that I will show you. <laughs> wow. That's you, a that's a difficult one. And, and you come to 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 to, to Hebrews, uh, the apostle Paul says yes. that that he was looking for a place for a city for a city whose who's builder, builder and maker, maker is God. God. The city with but, but but where, where where do you find that city? Mm. Now, now I, I see Abraham like coming to the yeah. to, to the immigration at the border of his country, <laughs> and the the immigration yeah. officer is asking him, where well, well, "What is your name? My name is Abraham. Yeah, where are you going? I don't know." <laughs> I don't know how his passport was. I, was I, think you, you I don't see, know. I'm, I'm going to a place God is going to show me. Who's that God? Which place is that? So it's like God is mm. throwing Abraham into a deep end. Yeah. And, and that changes Abraham's life completely. Yeah. But, but look at the promise of God. He says, mm. through you, I'll, I'll bless the nations. Yes. Through you, I'll bless the nations. Yes. Whoever curses you, I, I will curse. curse. Whoever blesses you, I, I will bless. bless. Sure. And Abraham leaves and he goes. This is where, even before we can come to the mm. issue of Abraham, then uh, trying to uh, sacrifice his son Isaac and all that type of stuff, mm. we can see from here that surely this man deserves to be the father of the faithful. Mm. Because none of us, it's, 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 the task that God gave Abraham to leave his family you know, is not a small task. No, 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 it's not. Mm. In fact, if we are to be father, children of Abraham, we've got to behave like him. Yeah, exactly. So Hebrews 8, 12, 11, 11 verse 8, eight yeah. it says, by, by, faith, by faith, Abraham yeah. obeyed. obeyed he was called to mm. go out of the place exactly. where he would receive inheritance. Yeah. And he went out. Exactly. Not knowing mm. where he was going. Yeah. You and I come from corporate. Yeah. Where is your strategy for where you want us to go? <laughs> <laughs> you will never get the budget no. or the endorsement of your CEO exactly. unless you present a blueprint plan. Exactly. Yeah. Costed with outcomes. Abraham uh, needed nothing of that. And, and, and By, Melus, there yeah. is something that is important that I want you to to, to. He was living his a place of his birth. Yeah. Where he was supposed to receive his what? His, his inheritance. inheritance. He had to forego his, his inheritance. <laughs> that, that's not a small thing. And but the says, Bible says what? Yeah. By faith. By faith he dwelt in the land right? of promise. Yes. As in a foreign country. Mm. Dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob. Right. The heirs of their same promise. Mm. For he waited for the city which had foundations, whose builder and maker was God. Mm. And even the Bible says on verse 11, by faith mm -hmm. Sarai received strength. Yeah. Even when her strength had, 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 had gone and when she had passed off her age because she judged him faithful mm. who had promised. Yeah. Now, not only that, my brother, but Abraham left Mesopotamia, the land of Ur, with his brother's son, Lot. Mm. But Lot made bad choices on the veggies of the land. Because the Bible says there was a quarrel between their workers. Yeah. And Abraham said, we shouldn't quarrel. We are relatives. Mm. We are family. Exactly. So you choose where you want to go mm. and I'll go the opposite. Yes. And Lord lifted up his eyes and saw the plains. Yeah. The, 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 the beautiful green uh, pastures. Yeah. pastures. Exactly. And he went and dwelled towards the city of yeah. Sodom. Exactly. The Bible then says, that immediately when they separated with Abraham, mm. God said to Abraham, look to the left, to the right, to as far as your eyes would see, mm. I've given you this land. Yes. So sometimes there are relationships that must be severed mm. for us to enter into the calling exactly. and the inheritance of God. Yeah. It could not happen with Lot. But, but also, another lesson that we need viewers to know, uh, Abraham is the one who is the blessed. Yes. Lot is the blessed by association. Mm. By his association to Abraham. Mm. And yet now Lord takes a uh, privilege to be the one to choose. Ex exactly. You, you don't see any humility there in Lot. Yeah. If, if, you, if you read about Abraham, Abraham, though he was a rich man, very rich, very, well, very wealthy, mm. but he was kind, he was generous, he was a humble man. 
But listen, would we then say perhaps saving God requires you to be very strategic? Because if you're not, by strategic I mean look at the big picture always. Exactly. Never go for the temporary. Exactly. Because Lot went for the temporary. And when you read the book of Hebrews, he's missing there. The, 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 vision, the vision of whatever was happening was never given to Lot. Yeah. So he would have not seen the bigger picture like Abraham would have seen the bigger picture. No, but my point is, mm. he knew yeah. the reason why they left. Exactly. He knew the risks that comes with this journey. Mm. They are from Mesopotamia. They know access to land and your rights and your father's wells and all of that is key. Lot knew. Yeah. But he chose. That's why the lesson says he made bad decisions. But he, because he lacked he like humility. Exactly. Mm. Lack of humility yeah. and also foresight. To see that the inheritance is bigger than a plot of land exactly. where there's grass. But, but but then look at the look at the aftermath. Look at the effects of his bad choices. Yeah. Of his bad choice. Lost his wife. What, what, what then happens? Uh, he, uh, he he began to associate with what with the Sodomites. So, Sodomites. Trade with them. Uh, trade with them slowly, slowly Bought until he was plot. in. Until yeah. he was in. Yeah. And God says, the Bible says, God, God came down to, to, to see the, the, the immorality mm. that, had, that Sodom and Gomorrah had, had become. Yeah. And God then tells his friend, Abraham, to say, hey. In fact, in fact I like that conversation. Sorry to cut yeah. you there. Because God was on his way. Exactly. Then God had a monologue. Should I do this thing mm. and not tell Abraham? Exactly. Seeing that Abraham will be a father of? Of many, many nations. And many families will yeah. be blessed through him. Through him, yeah. So God takes a detour to Abraham. To Abraham. So, and then yeah. he's got a conversation with Abraham. Yeah. Yeah, I want to destroy this, this, <laughs> this lady. In fact, yeah. the, the beautiful thing, sorry to jump in there. Remember, he said, come by, I'll, you'll eat. Exactly. And then you to, can To then, show his kindness, eh? Yes. His generosity. And he went yeah. to his wife right. and said, Sarah, I prepare meals. Exactly. And if you look at the meals prepared, this required a lot of time. Exactly. So while she was preparing, God is discussing with Abraham exactly. and says, next year, yeah. I'm going to pass by I'm, here. I'm going to pass by here. So it's 25 mm. years yeah. since Abraham received the promise of a son. Exactly. As Sodom and Gomorrah is being destroyed, God says, I'll come back next exactly. year. Exactly. Your wife will conceive. And then the Bible says, Sarah loves in her heart. Exactly. Yeah, so Abraham was a kind man. But, but, but then what happens is now, Abraham, because he was a kind man, he was a generous man, he mm. did not say, no, God going to destroy Sodom yeah, and Gomorrah. Deserve it. Destroy everyone. Because, yeah. because there, 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 there is this man, a uh, lot, lot, who ran away from, who me. Ran away from me, we yeah. taken what, and the, even <laughs> before that happened, mind you, Lot had a, 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 a scuffle there a with, war. there was a with war. Four kings. Exactly. And, and uh, Abraham, Abraham went and rescued him. Mm. That, that's how generous he was. But then the man says, God, if there are 50 righteous men would in you? Sodom, would you, are you going to destroy it? God says no. Mm. And Abraham negotiates it down to 10. Mm. God says no. I will not. Then what happens, we know. Yeah. God then went in. Yes. Told the uh, 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 in fact, Lot yes. that, that he must leave. Mm. And uh, Lot kept on how can I live? How can I live? Until eventually yeah. the angels pulled him out. Yes. Go to the mountains yes. for the sake of your life. You None of you should look back. You couldn't even run to the mountains. He said it's too far. Can I go to this small city? Look at that now. <laughs> None of them should look back. Yeah. And uh, as, as they went, Lot then lost his wife. Yeah. But she looked back and she became a, a, a pillar of salt. Yeah. Now, the... the, the Let's talk about the, the memory verse now in, con mm. in the context of what I've just said. Lot put earthly riches ahead, ahead of, of, heavenly, of, of this heavenly investment that, yes. that Jesus is talking about here. Mm. And what, did, what, 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 was the, what was the result of that? He lost, he all lost his wealth. everything. He lost his wealth. Yeah, he lost his wife. Right. The two, he got so depressed, he drank. Right, exactly. Yeah. And the, the daughters ended up being so wicked, they schemed to have children with their exactly. father. And the Ammonites, the Ammonites yeah. and the Moabites exactly. were born, out, they were born of out, out, out of and that. And they became some of the most brutal enemies exactly. of Israel. Of Israel. So, so the, this is what we are saying. Yeah. That they, and you put it very nicely. Uh, instant gratification. Yeah. Instant gratification at the expense of the things of God. Eternal interests. At the expense of the things of God, hmm. it, will, it will get us there. Absolutely.
empty ended. The J- Jacob almost got entangled on this one. Yeah, exactly. There's another case study here yes. from Deceiver. Mm. Yeah, he really wanted this birthright for yeah. earthly good. Yeah. And it almost, actually it costed him seeing his mother. Yeah. He last saw his mother running away. Mm. And when he came back, the mother was dead. Mm. So let's talk about Jacob. This is a common story. Genesis chapter 32, yeah. verse 22 to 33. We know what happened to Jacob. Exactly. And, um, but there are lessons that the, 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 this week we're supposed to, to share mm. about what it means to carry the birthright. And what, what costs does it come with when we do it our hard way? Because I know God had already said to the older will save the younger. Yeah, exactly. Jacob did not need to cheat and no, deceive his brother. there was no reason. But he had to go and mm. be cheated himself. Yeah. As he was trying to get a wife. Exactly. And mm. as he comes back, he's full of anxiety mm. and worry. Mm. And he fights the whole night thinking he's fighting one of Jacob, one of Esau's men. Yeah. And uh, he had been so cunning even in under uh, Laban's house mm. that they accused him of actually swindling, uh, getting rich out of their father's wealth. Exactly. Yeah. And talk about Jacob. What are the sacrifices and what were the radical shifts God brought to his life? The, the, the radical shift that God brought to, 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 to the life of Jacob, for me, mm-hmm. it, it, it is... A, you see, Jacob made a mistake yeah. of wanting to help God mm. on what God had promised. Mm. Jacob thought, no, let, let, let us do it. Let, let, let's, let's, let, let's put a catalyst to this thing so that it happens <laughs> fast. Yeah. And then he connives with the mother. Yeah. And then we know what, what happens. He runs away and all that type of stuff. Yeah. But, but the good thing that I like is that Jacob realized that mm. he realized his mistake mm. and he repented. Mm. This is why when he goes... Even before he gets to Laban, mm. you remember that night when he slept yeah. and he saw the, the, the angels, the, the, uh, going, angels up and going up and, and down a, a ladder. Mm. And, 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 he, and he called that place Peniel yes. to say that I, I have met God in, in, in this place. In this place. In this yes. place. And, and, and then he says to God, uh, mm. he, he makes a promise. Look at the promise that he makes. Yeah, if you bless me. If you bless me. That, you that was the me. turning point. Yes. If you bless me. As if you was not blessed already. If you bless me, yeah, I'll give a, a tenth, tenth of, a tenth of whatever wealth. that you're going to bless me with. Mm. And, 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 and then God says it's fine, but I'll work on you more. The very teacher he had done to his, to his father and to, to his brother, God says, Laban, deal with this man. Yeah. And, and, and uh, one lesson that I draw from there is that there are times when God will use evil men to discipline his children. In fact, the evil that we do to others comes back to us. It comes us. back. And it comes back at an elevated level. Exactly. So that we can remember yes. how bad it was when it, we, did, we did it to those that we, when we did it we at that moment. The pain that we we went feel the through. pain. And thank God for, for Jacob was that pain led him to true repentance. Mm. And, and this is why now when, when he's at the river Jabok, he's yeah. coming back to, to Esau. Yes. He separates his families. Mm. The other wife there in the He's afraid. He's afraid. He may lose everything. He may lose everything. Yeah. But 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 God, but but Jesus comes down and he wrestles with him. Mm. And uh, look look at the nice and sweet experience now mm. at the dawn uh, of, 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 of the day. Mm. Uh, Jacob says to, to, to the angel, what is your name? And uh, the yeah. angel says, No, what, what, what do you need my name for? Well, now what is your name? Oh. Says, My name is he now tells the truth. Yes. 20 years before, he had said the lie. When the father asked him, what is your name? What did he say? He says, my name is Esau. Esau. But now he tells the truth. Yes. What is your name? My name is Jacob. <laughs> right? Uh, and then Jesus says, you have said the truth. Yeah. Because you have said the truth. I am, I am now giving you a new name. Yes. And what is the new name? The new name is coming from, a, it's a transition from Jacob, yes. the deceiver, the yeah. supplanter, yeah. the liar. Mm. the cheater mm. to Israel. And what does Israel mean? You have fought with God. And you mm. have what? You have prevailed. You have prevailed. Yes. You have fought with God and you have prevailed. It mm. is in that instance that much as his, uh, his hip had been Was dislocated, dislocated yeah. but his blessing came there. Yeah. Now you contrast and uh, 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 compare Jacob and, and Lot. Mm. Jacob walked away without anything. Yeah. But because he repented, he walked back, back with a lot of wealth. 
and the, and the God family. still and the family. And he received the blessing. And he received the blessing. <laughs> Whereas Lot walked away with a lot. Everything he had. But he, he, at the end the of the end, day, he lost everything. He died with nothing. So what am I saying to viewers there? Uh, you may hit rock bottom, even in mm. your faith. Mm. You may do things that will leave you a, a spiritual outcast, even in yeah. the eyes of men. Yeah. But if you wrestle with God, mm. if you repent genuinely, yeah. you are investing in heaven. Mm. You are investing in heaven. Mm. And God will bless you. God will restore you. Amen. Even beyond what Amen. you can think. So despite our mistakes, yeah. God can still bless God us. can still bless you. Yeah. And the point, therefore, is never to walk away from God. No, you do, you don't make that mistake. Yes. Yeah. Powerful story about Jacob. I'm tempted to really dwell on it, but because of our time, will move. Thank God that his name was changed. And I believe there's someone out there who's in the story of Jacob. Yeah. You ran away from your sin. Exactly. Time has moved. Yeah. The brothers of Joseph, the sons of this very man we're talking about, sold him into Egypt. Mm. And they thought they have lied their way out. Yeah. But 20 years down the line, mm. God made them come back to Egypt and meet with their nightmare. Exactly. I can imagine what their conversations were as they went back to Israel to say, mm. what are we going to tell our father? Yeah. He thinks he's dead. Exactly. And remember, he still kept that gown somewhere in his bedroom. Somewhere. Yeah. So they had to confess their sin. So I'm going to tell someone out there, if you really want to serve God, maybe you're already serving God, but you have a thing you didn't confess. Yeah. You need to get that right. Exactly. But, but, but also look at the sweet uh, sto yeah. story. Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were all buried in the same, in the same cave. Yes. They were all buried in the same cave. Yes. Meaning that God honored Jacob even in his death. Exactly. Exactly. And even today, what do we say? The God of who? Mm, of Abraham. Abraham. The God of who? Isaac. <laughs> the God of who? Of Jacob. But look at the, at the life of Jacob. Yeah. The most undesirable type of a life. A dysfunctional a, a, family a very, of not. A life that no one would want to ad admire. Yeah. But at the end of the day, mm. God's promises were still fulfilled Through in Jacob. Him. Amen. Yeah. Moses in Egypt. Right. So Jacob has died. The sons of Jacob have gone into Israel. Mm. They have lived there for 490 years. Yeah. Later on, exactly. things have turned out sour. Right. Joseph is dead. Yeah. All the other brothers are dead. And a pharaoh comes up who does there not know. There was a pharaoh who does not know who did not know Joseph. At that time, then mm. the Israelites were so many. Exactly. They were now slaves. Yeah. And God says, I've heard their cry. Right. I'm going to deliver them. Exactly. So is it Manoah or the, the, the father, the parents of Moses, Bay Aaron, the Bay Miriam. Finally, they get a, this boy. But this boy must die because there's now a decree. Exactly. That says all children who are males must die. But they must die. Yeah, right. The devil always has a plan mm -hmm. against our fertility. Exactly. And many messiahs of this world are killed in abortion clinics. Exactly. But God saves this one miraculously yeah. because he, he, right in the water. Someone's going mm. to a bath yeah. in the river. In saves the river. Exactly. The life of Moses. Mm. T -t -t Tell us about Moses as um, someone who stored up treasures up there in heaven. Because the book of Hebrews simply says he refused. Maybe let me read it and then mm. I'll give you a chance. The faith yeah. of Moses, verse 23, by faith. Chapter 11, verse 23, by mm. faith, Moses, when he was born, mm. was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and yeah. there was... They were, they were not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he had come of age, right. refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's exactly. daughter, choosing rather to suffer right. affliction with the people of mm. God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, right. esteeming the reproach of Christ greater right. riches than the treasures in Egypt. Mm. For he looked to the reward. Yeah. By faith, mm. he forsook Egypt. Right. Not fearing the wrath of the king, mm -mm. for he endured to see, to he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Right. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he would be destroyed. He would, he he, he who, who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Mm. And so it says even by faith passed through the Red Sea as a dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempting to do so were drowned. Uh, Melusi, you and I and many viewers there, we know and we believe. Mm. Moses was destined for royalty. Yes. Moses was being groomed to be the next pharaoh. Mm. 
uh, Moses was schooled in all geography, in all science, name it, in all technology, mm. in all war science in Egypt. Mm. He was just a prince, a, a king in waiting. He was yeah. a prince already, but he yeah. was just... Let's not dwell yeah. much on how he was, he was mm. brought up. Mm. But, but we're dwelling on what did he forego? Mm. Moses was saying, laying treasures away in, in heaven. heaven. What did he forego? Mm. All the pleasures of Egypt. Yeah. All the comfort. The throne. If, if The throne, my friend. The throne. Yeah. That, that's not, that was not a small that was not, it was not a small thing. Yeah. Egypt was one of the it was, it was a superpower. A superpower. It was a superpower of the of yeah. the day. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Moses says, I will not be fooled mm. by all these things. Mm. Because these things they, they are temporary. Mm. And what does he do? He defies. Yeah. He leaves all these things. And he goes into exile, as it were. And God uses him to come back. And rescue the children of Israel. Mm. That was not an easy task. Yeah. It but was emotionally it, draining. It, it, In fact, that's what caused him to kill that Egyptian. Exactly. He was so moved by the pain of his people. Exactly. He wanted to take things into his own hands, but it, he had to break the law by you, doing so. You, you see, the, the author of the lesson puts it very clearly that the, the mother of Moses mm. invested in Moses for the first 12 years of his right. life. We are talking about in investing in the things of God. Yes. Every parent out there who is listening to this program, mm. God has given an opportunity yes. to invest in your child. Exactly. Because that which you put in your child is what will carry them through life. Mm. Train them up. The, 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 the training and the teaching that the mother of Moses had done up to 12 years, mm -hmm. it, it was enough to take Moses through. It is the same thing that more brought Moses to realize that all these pleasures here, yeah. they mean nothing to me here. Yes, there's what, a greater there is purpose. A greater, there is a greater purpose that God has in me. Yes, I am not people. an Egyptian, mm. I am a Jew. Mm. You see, when, 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 he, uh, when, when, when he, his father-in-law sees him and the girls, they think he's an Egyptian. Yes, mm. he was an Egyptian in, in appearance. Yeah. Both yeah. he had been trained to look like one. Mm. But inwardly, he was a Jew. He was a Jew. Yes. And now God does great things with Moses. Mm. He had to forego the kingship. He, for, he, he, for, he had to forego the, the royalty. Mm. He, he is to suffer in, in the wilderness. All that yeah. education came to naught. Yeah. All those degrees came to naught. Mm. He had to suffer with the children of God. In, in, he, he had to eat manna. Mm. He had to eat manna. Somebody mm. was eating all sorts of menus of mm. whatever that he wanted, but he had to eat manna. Yes. And God does great things with him. He crosses the Red Sea. Yes. And, and at the end of the day, God rewards Moses yeah. by saying, you made a mistake. Oh. You hit the stone. Oh, Lord. When I say speak to the stone, the and you did not even hit it once, you hit it twice. The challenge of leadership. Challenge of leadership. Challenge of ministry. And, 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 and Moses, Moses, mm. God takes him to Mount Nebo. Yeah. And what does he say? View this, the land. View the land. But as you view the land, You're not going you, are not, you are not going to go in. Yes. And, and God does not tell him to say, after you die, I'm going to resurrect you to go to a better Canaan than mm. this one. You see, if you read uh, one of my best writers, yeah. as she explains this, Ellen G. White, she mm -hmm. says Moses was so despondent. He was so discouraged to the last. Mm. He looked back and said, God, after, I, after, after I've saved you all these years, mm. is this my reward? He was so mm. discouraged. But oh, God showed age. him beyond the land of Canaan, even the Messiah coming to die, Mm. Even the Messiah coming to take us home for mm. the second time. Mm. And after his death, God yeah. says, yeah. this one, mm. it does not belong to the, to, to the land of the dead. Yeah. He resurrected him mm. to heaven. At, at, the, at the Mount, uh, yeah. or, or, at, at Mount, what, Mount uh, of Transfiguration, yes. Moses was there to strengthen Jesus together mm. with Elijah. And Moses represents those who will die yeah. before Jesus comes mm. for the second time. But, but look at how God messes around, mm. disfigures and reconfigures Moses' life mm. to, to, to be a man that, is, and, and God says, there is no prophet. Yeah. There is no prophet like, his, like, 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 like Moses. Irrespective mm. of, despite his mistakes. Mm. But because he had invested in it, godly things. Yeah. In fact, I like what Hebrews says yeah. on verse 27. Yes. The reason why he forsook Egypt was not because of his crime. No. It says, not fearing the wrath of the king. No. no he didn't fear that. No. For he endured. Right. 
as seeing him who is invisible. Is invisible. So yeah. in Moses' mind, the picture of God and his greatness and his kingdom was clear. It was clear. No mm. wonder he insisted, I've been talking to you for all this time. I want to see you. Yeah. And he witnessed the goodness of right. God. And I quite agree with you that that's why God had to resurrect him. Exactly. And then we see him in the transfiguration. Yeah. Mount of Transfiguration. And so as we wrap this lesson up, Brother Nixon, maybe give us your final thought. What is the message of this week, laying up treasures in heaven? One thing that is key that I find out here is that uh, um, when God calls us for service, mm -hmm. he fashions us in his way. Mm -hmm. That is, is in alignment to, to the task Mm -hmm. That is congruent to the task ahead. Mm -hmm. God will not leave you the same melus. Yeah, you will make sure that you forego those things that you loved a lot. Yeah, those things that you have invested in a lot as mm. an individual. And at times, God will even go into those very resources that you have piled up for yourself. Yeah, you will go and eat into that and say, "Give to the, like what you yeah. did to the to the uh, rich uh, to, to the rich young uh, ruler uh, uh, to the rich young ruler. Mm. Sell what you have and what Come give to the me. poor. Then." Follow me. Mm. So God is saying, we need to lay up our, that's what it means to invest, to lay up our mm. treasures in heaven. It means for us to, we are foregoing our earthly inclinations. And comforts. Our, and comforts. And pleasures. For and the sake. And delicacies. For the sake of, 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 of advancing uh, the kingdom of God. And, but but this, is the, this is the sweet thing, Moses. Much as God can mess up our lives, the end result of it is always very sweet. And it's great. God yeah. will repay us a mm. hundredfold. Mm. Even in the Bible, he says, there is none of you that has left his father or his, his mother. mother. Yes. Who will go away what? Empty handed. Yes. You'll be so, blessed so, a hundredfold. You'll be blessed a hundredfold. Here and in heaven. Here and also in heaven. Thank you, Brother Nixon. Mm. What a lesson. A beautiful lesson. For me, mm. God is gracious. Yeah. God is good. He took fallible men. Yeah who were subject to falling. Mm. Abraham and Hagar. Right. Jacob, a fraudster. Exactly. He took Moses, a murderer. Mm. He took, who else? Um, all of those men, if you look at them, they had a folly with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even, even, even Abraham, the father was of faith. folly with them. Abraham, you remember, he lied to, to, to the king. Yes, yeah, but that, he looked mm. beyond, he their, looked beyond follies. their faults. Yeah. But here's other thing that happened. Mm. For every blessing that he pronounced on them, there was a burden. There was. I call yeah, it. Right. I call it the B and B concept. Mm. You know, bed and breakfast concept. Yeah. <laughs> but I call it the burden, the blessing, and the burden. Yeah. Each one of them had a burden. Exactly. And uh, that burden drove them to make decisions. Yeah. That meant forfeiting earthly blessings, Maybe. so that they can be in good books and serve a greater mission for Maybe God. Especially that God did not tell them. Suffer now, tomorrow I'm going to, to no. reward you. No, this, these guys know. did not know. Yeah. They did not know they what was only coming. They knew God. They only obeyed and believed in God. Yeah. And they pushed the mission. Yes. And then at the end of the day, God says, here is your reward. And, and Hebrews says, all of them died not having received it. Exactly. Because they waited for us as Exactly. Well, yeah. To be tried. Exactly. To be tested. Mm. And to also make our own eternal decisions. Exactly. Today. Yeah. And I believe there are people in our day mm. who are forsaking who are living all earthly good yeah. so that they can serve the Lord. Exactly. And the Lord bless them. Mm. The Lord keep them. The Lord causes face to shine upon, upon them, them yeah. and give, give them, them peace, peace mm. and success in the hour of their trials. Exactly. Nixon, you want to pray for us as we close? Let us pray. Our Father, our God, what in heaven, uh, what a lesson that we've had, mm. where you are encouraging us to lay up our treasures in heaven, mm. where there is no moth or any rust that will enter into to destroy our, our, our wealth. Yes, Lord. Dear Lord, I want to pray and uh, ask that you may redirect our thinking. Mm. We may be able to reprioritize mm. issues of life and be able to place at the top shelf, at the top drawer, mm. those issues that pertain to the kingdom of God, to the advancement of the kingdom of God. Mm. But your Bible is very clear that this thing that we, li we like so much that we see, they are temporary. Mm. Eternity is in things that are not seen, mm -hmm. in things that we cannot even imagine ourselves. Yes, and I'm happy that even 
the Bible is clear that what you have prepared for those that do that, mm. no eye has seen. Yes, Lord. No ear has heard. Hallelujah. It has not come into the imagination of any man Amen. what you have prepared for those that love you. Amen. This is the beauty of it all. Mm. Dear Lord, we commit ourselves to suffer now mm. and enjoy later Amen. in the kingdom. Bless us as we make this, this commitment. Bless us as we make this decision. Mm. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.